a few minutes. Now, your trip across the Grand Island bridges could soon become a lot easier and quicker. All new this noon, the Grand Island supervisor is getting the ball rolling now for cashless tolls at the bridges after he posted a video on social media calling for some action from Governor Cuomo. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin is live in the newsroom with the story. Yeah, good afternoon, Keith. Well, that video has since been seen by thousands of people on Facebook. Supervisor Nate McMurray says, well, if cashless tolls are the beginning of a broader conversation, well, it's time to have that conversation, and it's a good thing. Now, the video that caught, this is a video that caught Governor Andrew Cuomo's attention. It's Grand Island Supervisor Nate McMurray's successful attempt to shine a light on the conversation of toll elimination. It's mixed with his sense of humor and facts, of course. With whether you live on the island or use it to travel north and south, the tolls are unavoidable for reality for many people there. Something McMurray says needs to go sooner than later. The video highlights issues like traffic congestion, money allocation, and pollution. Three major issues he says affect Grand Islanders every day. If technology is available that makes those traffic jams smaller and makes traffic flow better, and that technology is already being used in other parts of the state, I think Grand Island should be giving priority for that technology. So if we can't remove the toll, well, then give me the technology that exists elsewhere. They're using downstate. They're using other places. McMurray says overall cashless tolls are a reasonable middle ground, more progress than they've seen in 80 years, and that overall the conversation with the governor was a positive one. He also says that every day his job as a supervisor is to give light and give an ear to issues that affect his people every day. And if this video and this conversation did just that, well, he's done his job. In the newsroom, Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Liz.